What is dark matter? If I knew the answer to that question, I'd probably be a bit busy accepting the £800,000 cheque that goes along with the Nobel Prize, because nobody really knows what dark matter is, and if they tell you they do, they're lying or a crackpot. Nonetheless, it is generally accepted that dark matter, whatever it is, must exist. And the reason for that is something that I can tell you. It all started in the 1930s. Whilst everyone is enjoying the birth of swing music and Technicolor movies, physicists were looking at how stars move inside galaxies, or essentially how fast galaxies spin. Now, the physics behind this is dead simple. Newton cracked it in 1687 in his Principia Mathematica, because it's all to do with gravity. The speed of a star inside a galaxy is given by the amount of mass contained within its orbit. The more mass, the stronger the gravitational force, and the faster the star can go, essentially. So, those 1930s physicists saw this as a great opportunity to put a theory to the test. Except their results were a bit strange. The stars were going far, far too fast compared to all the matter that they could see. In theory, the galaxies should be spinning apart. They shouldn't be able to keep a hold of those really fast stars, but obviously they were. So it was put forward that there must be some hidden mass that we couldn't see, or dark matter, which accounts for those high speeds and the galaxies staying together. From then on, signs that there must be hidden mass in the universe popped up everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. Uh, the spinning galaxy clusters, the speed that they go at, uh, how much gravitational lensing occurs on distant objects, how the temperature varies in galaxies, and also even signs in the cosmic microwave background radiation, the oldest light in the universe. They all had signs of dark matter. In fact, the recent Planck experiment results from that combined with the standard model of cosmology seems to suggest that actually 26.8% of all matter and energy in the universe is made of dark matter. To put that into context, ordinary matter that you and I are made of and that we're just generally used to, that only constitutes 4.9%. The rest, by the way, is something called dark energy, which we have even less of a clue about than dark matter. Back to the question of dark matter, though. If there's so much of it, why have it been so elusive all these years? Why haven't we found it yet? Well, we are looking, and the search is all about wimps. Now, I'm not making fun of scientists saying they don't go to the gym enough. WIMPs stands for Weakly Interacting Massive Particles. And that's what we think most dark matter must be made of. Basically, a new sort of subatomic particle that only really interacts with normal matter through gravity. And that's the reason why it's dark. It's completely invisible to light. But it also makes it extremely hard to find. Now, if dark matter is actually made of wimps, there must be a colossal amount of it passing through the Earth all the time. Take your eye, for instance. Whilst you can't see it, every second there are thousands of dark matter particles travelling through it. Probably. I mean, we don't know. We haven't seen them. <clears throat> so if there's so much dark matter particles, then surely there's a chance that we can find them. And this is a sort of challenge that scientists like to laugh in the face of. Well, well, not literally, but we are looking. And finally, there are some possible hints that we might have found it. Last month, the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer Experiment, or AMS, which is on board the International Space Station, said they may have found the first indirect evidence of dark matter. Now, the AMS looks for cosmic rays in space. Uh, in particular, high-energy electrons and their antimatter equivalent called positrons. They're equal and opposite to electrons in every way. Now, what AMS found was more positrons than they were expecting, and this might be because of dark matter. You see, some people think that these wimps might actually be their own antiparticles, and that's not actually unheard of even for normal matter. So if you have two WIMP particles come together, they'll annihilate and produce a particle-antiparticle pair. Now, that might account for the positrons, but it also could be pulsars, which is a sort of star that emits a beam of radiation into space. They don't have enough data at the moment to distinguish between the two, but they're working on it. So there's a real race to find dark matter first going on 
right now. And this is really exciting because it's taken us 80 years to even get to this point. And then when we finally do find dark matter for the first time, we still won't have a clue what it's actually made of. But you know, one step at a time. To find out a bit more about the Planck experiment, check out our previous vid here, or to get all of the latest Head Squeeze videos, subscribe by clicking here. And I can't really point at anything else, sorry.